Hey guys, another right dad here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make animated death messages on Roblox Studio. So you see I have this kill block here, and if I step on it, you can see that this message pops up. It says wasted, and it goes back, all right? So I made three kill messages. I keep getting two for some dumb reason, but there are three messages that are random. There you go, you see I got one this time. It says oof. And you can have as many messages as you want, or as little messages as you want, um, and they'll still work. There you go, you see you got the third one now. Um, and every time you die, it will show a random one with a nice little animation, just like that. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the video. See you. Also, guys, this week's giveaway, um, the, the Real Slash Pro has won this giveaway. I haven't included this video for this video because it's kind of a long one, but this person did win. So, congratulations to you and winning 15 Robux. Just like that. Uh, I hope you enjoy your 15 Robux. Uh, yeah, uh, let's go. Enjoy the video. Alright, guys, so I'm in my base right here, and the first thing we can go ahead and do is in start a GUI, we can go ahead and click the little plus sign, and then we can go ahead and add in a screen GUI. We can then go ahead and rename the screen GUI to death messages, just like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create our death messages. So in the GUI, we can go ahead and add in a frame, and uh, we're not going to name it for now. Um, and we're going to go ahead and customize it. You can see I've made it kind of big across the screen and what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to set the transparency of it um, to be 0 0.5 and I'll make the color of it um, black. The background color will be black. All right. Now inside of this frame, I'm going to go ahead and add in a text label, which is going to be the death message. And I'm going to go ahead and customize this as well. So I have it scaled up like this. I can make the text scaled. And we can make the background transparency again 0.5. And the background color will again be black. We can also set the font to uh, whatever you want. Uh, I think either antique or Gotham black uh, would be good. But I'm going to. I'm just going to do the Gotham black, and then I can set the text color to be white. And there we go. Alright, so lastly, we just need to set our text for our death message. So this death message will be oof. Just like that, dot dot dot. Alright. So then we can go ahead and add in as many death messages we want. So in order to do that, we're just going to keep on duplicating the frame. And uh, we can just customize the text label. This one, instead of being oof, it's gonna be wasted. There we go, it's a classic. And in, in this one, uh, again, instead of being oof, we can set the text to, let's do rip, R, I, P. There you go, so I have one that says oof, one that says wasted, and one that says rip. All right. So now what we can do is you can go ahead and number these. You can have as many messages as you want and you're going to number them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so on. For all of your death messages, you're going to number them in order. And you can go ahead and select them and make them invisible. Or you can set the visibility to be false so now you cannot see them. In the death messages UI, you can go ahead and create a script. In this script, um, we're going to create the death messages that will pop up and be animated. So we're going to create a variable for the player. So we can do local player. It's going to be equal to game dot players players dot local player. We're going to create a variable for the character. So local character character. I'm just going to do local char um, is going to be equal to uh, player dot character. There we go. And then lastly, we can go ahead and do local 
humanoid, so you can create a variable for the humanoid. It's going to be equal to uh, character or char colon wait for child in quotations. You can do humanoid just like that. So now that we have our variable set up, now we can go ahead and create a function. So uh, now that we have our variable set up, now we're going to create a function um, to check whenever our health is changed. So we can go ahead and type humanoid. Um, colon get a property change signal we're gonna get the health all right so we're gonna check when the health is changed and then we're gonna connect a function just like this all right so now we're gonna check if the player is dead so we're gonna do if humanoid dot health so checking if the player health is at zero so if humanoid dot health is equal to zero or equal equal to zero actually um, alright, then, alright, I forgot to type in a then, but make sure there's a then there, um, we're going to get a value, uh, a number value, one through how many, however many, uh, messages we have, so we can do local, we're going to do local value equals map dot random, we're going to do one comma three, so it's going to generate a random number one through however many you have we're going to type one and then the very last frame is going to be this one right here so for me it's three but you can have as many as you want and then we're going to create a variable uh for the message of that number so local message is going to be equal to script dot parent colon find first child you got the child that's the value and then you'll need to do this but i'm just going to print the value uh, so we can see the number that we land on whenever we die right so down here we're going to actually work on tweening the message uh, so we can do first of all message dot visible is going to be equal to true so we can see the message all right so i want my message to start off of the screen and then animate into the screen so to do that we're going to set the position of it off the screen they can do message um, dot position is going to be equal to udim2 dot new and then we can just type in the position we want it to be so in the properties tab here uh, you can see that it's on x of 0 0.106 and y 0 0.355 so what we're going to do Instead of being 0 0.1 or 6 for the x-axis, we're going to do negative 0 0.75. We're going to do comma 0, comma, and then we're going to do 0 0.355. All right, and then we're going to do comma 0, just like that. So we're saying the message to be off the screen, well, mostly off the screen, right? And then we're going to tween the message to be into the screen. And then later we're going to tween it out of the screen. So we could do message dot or message colon tween. So we're going to create a tween um, to move the message. So message colon tween position. We can do udim2 dot new. All right. And then we're going to send a message to the middle of the screen. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to copy. Uh, we're going to select our, one of our frames. So they should all be in the same position. We're going to search a position in the properties tab. And we're just going to write down these numbers you see right here. So it's going to be in the middle of the screen. So we're going to do 0 0.106, comma 0, comma 0 0.355, comma 0. And that's the position of the messages and then we can do outside this first set of parentheses uh, we can do comma out all right outside the quotations we can do comma again you can type in quotations again quint comma outside the quotations one comma true just like that quick run through uh, we're checking if the player is dead, and then we're making we're getting a random message, we're making the message visible, we're making the message position to be off the screen. 
and then we're animating it into the middle of the screen. All right, and now we're gonna animate it out of the screen again. So you can do wait, and then we can do 3.5. So we have 3.5 seconds to read the message, all right? Basically, now we're just gonna tween it off of the screen. So to do this, we can just do message colon tween position. And then again, we can do udem2 dot new dot new, just like that. And then we can type in a number to make it off the screen. So to get it off the screen, we're gonna do one for the x-axis, comma zero, um, comma, and then we can do 0 0.355, so it stays the same height, because you don't want the height to change. So 0 0.3.55 for the y-axis, comma, zero. So we can do quotations, out, and then outside the quotations, comma, quotations again, quint, outside comma and then we can do one comma true just like that so now we just tweened it outside of the screen again okay so lastly uh what we're going to do is we're going to create a kill block um to you know kill us so that way the message can actually pop up so in workspace we can go ahead and add in a part in this part, we can add in a script. All right, and now we're just gonna add in a simple skill, kill strip. So script dot parent dot touched colon connect function hit. So all we're doing is we're checking if the part is touched. So we're gonna do um, if hit dot parent colon find first child humanoid then. So basically now all we're doing is checking to make sure they're a human. We're gonna do hit dot parent dot dot health is going to be equal to um, zero, just like that. So it is a simple kill script, only five lines. If we were to test it out now, if I were to touch the kill block, it kills me and the frame does not pop up. All right, guys, I figured it out. I just spelled visible wrong, so make sure you spell visible right. I spelled it with an A instead of an I. All right. And another thing I noticed is that I made a mistake on this. After the parentheses, you need another comma, uh, and then you can have um, this right here. All right. So make sure that you put a, a comma after these parentheses right here. Uh, and on top of that, the player only has uh, two, uh, no, three seconds of being dead. So 3.5 is too much time for it to wait before it animates out. So instead of being 3.5, I'm going to do 1.5 seconds. All right. So now if we play, you can see I step in the part. A random number generates in, in chat. It nicely animates onto the screen and animates out. So if I die, see a number popped up, see it animates in, and it animates out. I don't know why my head keeps falling through the map. I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to happen. Um, but you can see it does indeed animate. So yeah, anyways guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoy, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If we get to 500 subscribers by the end of the year, I'll give away a thousand Robux. So subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.